Is the Bible says that Jesus, that the child grew in wisdom, in stature. And the Bible says that the grace of God was upon him. But the grace of God was with those who are born. The grace of God does not go with those who look back. We know the story of Lot and his wife. What happened to her? She was told, do not look back. And when she looked back, she became what? Huh? A statue for everyone to come and ask, what is this? And people to say that this is a disobedient woman. This is a woman who had unbelief. She was told not to, to look back, but she looked back. She thought that the things she's leaving behind were more powerful, were, were more precious than where she was born. There will never be a better yesterday. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that it is not in wisdom that you ask, why were the days gone by? better than these days. Have you ever heard people who say that ah, I wish I could go back in 2015. Mm. Ah, that year was powerful. I saw the hand of God. Things were moving. But look at these days. The Bible says that that is foolishness. He says that you are not being wise in saying one word to yesterday years better than this one. You have to believe that there will never be a better yesterday. Don't let your mind and your circumstance lie to you. Today is better than yesterday. But the only way today becomes better is when you live by faith. We, we, we all know about the, the, the chapter on faith in Hebrew 11. But the best definition of faith is not Hebrew 11. The best definition of faith is not found in Hebrew 11 verse 1. Where the Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Are we together? Mm. The best definition of faith. The practical definition of faith is found in the verse before that. Can, can somebody go to the end of Hebrews 10? And you will see for me what I call the practical definition of faith. Because it tells you exactly what faith does and what you should do. Hebrews 10, verse 3. And it will be verse... Verse 38 and 39. It doesn't matter how great and wonderful the past was. In the world of business, they say that your enemy 
your today's the, the enemy for your today's success is your yesterday's success it's when you start to say that it's when you look at what you've accomplished and you start to only dwell on your past success. Can you move forward while you're also moving backwards? Can somebody show me how that works? I want you to look back and also try to move forward. Is the preacher about to have a problem? Because yes. yes. the preacher is trying to look back but also move forward. That's all happens when you look back. And yet you are telling people that you are moving forward. Isaiah 43 says that forget about the former things. And the next thing God is saying, I am doing a new thing. Can you not see it? You do not have four eyes. If you are looking back, you are not looking forward. Let's read Hebrews 10, 38 and 39. I call this the practical definition of faith. To me, it gives me something that I can say, I will do, and I know I will be in faith. Kwangu <laughs> Now the just shall live by faith. But, 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 if any man, if any woman, there is no exception. If any man draws back, what you want to read in your mouth? If any man start to draw back into defeat and start to run away, God says I have no pleasure in cowards who look back and run away. He's saying that the work of faith is a forward movement. That's what I was telling you that if you if you said that today we have been able to accomplish this. Even if we have one, one, one block, one sack of cement, and we can only do just this piece of it, you are in faith. Mm. You are moving Amen. forward. Amen. The next day, you come and add another one sack of cement. Mm. You are moving forward. Mm. Then the person who is praying and saying, I'm waiting for all the ten sacks of cement. Mm. By the time that person receives all the money, these people will already, they are dancing on their cement floor. Mm. Because we are made to be people of faith. Mm. We love people of faith. Mm. You always follow somebody who knows where they're going. So if you see this, just this one side that it's already been done. The one person here says, hmm, you know, let me also bring.
bring another sack of cement. Mm-hmm. Another one says, you know what? I will bring some sand. I will put 50 bob on top of that. Amen. But people like to see that you are moving forward. Mm-hmm. Like the spirit of God wants that to be the Bible class today. Mm. 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 But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Lakini kama kuna mtu yoyote atakaye rudi nyuma, furaha yangu haipo kwake tena. The reason why I like this definition better than Hebrew 11:1 it's because he tells me that as long as I am not drawing back, I am in faith. Two the Christian there is no looking back. To the Christian, there is no retreat. Kwa mkristo, hakuna kuachilia. I always remember the story of David. Nilikuwa nakumbuka historia ya Daudi. Especially lately, that story keeps coming to my mind. Kila wakati ya hivi juzi juzi, hiyo story imekuwa kinijia. The giant Goliath will come and say, give me a man. And in Israel there was a man who was also almost like a giant. His name was King Saul. The Bible tells us that he was taller than anyone. How do you become taller than anyone in the whole country? So I would say that he was almost like a giant. Mm. Mm. And he had also a coat of mail. He had a, an armor on. <laughs> and he had an army with him. Let me encourage anyone who thinks that they are small. It's never about how tall or how big you are. It's the level of conviction. Faith is conviction. Faith is the word that means inner persuasion. That's what Paul said that I am persuaded. I am fully convinced. Now comes a small boy called David. With the spirit of God upon him. Forget about being a person of faith without the spirit of God. If you think, I don't want the spirit of God upon me, but I want to be a person of faith. You might as well go home. The Bible says that the spirit of God falls upon them that hear the word. And the Bible says that faith comes by what? The spirit of God is the spirit of faith. He has a way to tell you that do not consider how big this giant is. Look at David, a small boy, but with the spirit of God upon him. He came, he came and he said, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm-hmm. To, de- to defy the armies of the living God. 
Ni mufilisti mgeru ya mbae ya chairiwa. Ah, wait until you hear faith talk. Yes. Mungoja kwanza ukawane imani kinena. Faith, faith sounds arrogant. Mm. Imani inandena kwa kiburi. Mm. It's a confidence that people look at you and say, who do you think you are? Ni ujasiri ambaye watu wanakuangalia na sema wewe ni nani. And you, you tell them that I know who I am. Na unawambia mimi najua mimi ni nani. Make no mistake, I know who I am, I know who I serve, I know where I'm going. Usifanya mafasa ni najua mimi ni nani na najua kule ni nakuenda. And now they have a choice either to go where you are going or to despise you where you go. <laughs> now they have a choice to follow you where you are going. Sasa wanaya sababu ya kukufata. Or to despise you as you go. Ama kukukata kule unakokwenda. Because as I told you, a person of faith does not go back. He keeps going forward. Kwa sababu ni mwalezea mtu wa imani, haenendi nyuma anenenda mele. The Bible tells us that when finally... The giant came forward. Biblia nasema yule mkuu wa Filisti alipokuja mbele. Before he will come forward and say, "Give me a man that I may fight him." Kabla haja na kusema munipe mtu wa kupigana naye. The Bible said that the entire army of Israel will flee. Na Biblia nasema jeshi nzima likatoroka. They will draw back. Wakasonga nyuma. And so God had no pleasure in them. Na Mungu hakuwa na furaha kwao. They will say, God will help us, help us, but they are going. <laughs> Don't you remember what God told Moses? He said that when he was by the Red Sea, with the armies of Pharaoh behind them coming after them and the mountain called the Red Sea in front of them and Moses he said oh God, oh God and God said why do you cry to me? Move what? Oh, boy. And the leg was strong and belly. Boy. And when he moved forward, what happened? Now, if you saw what he thought was the Red Sea, he panicked. Kila ambacha aliwana ni bahari ya shamu ikagawanyika. You need to make up your mind today. Unaitaji kufanya ni ya zako. Any challenge, I'm going to go towards the challenge. Ya kwamba kila chama moto kinachokuja ni takipiti ya tu. Faith is a forward move. It doesn't mean that you don't have the voice of the devil telling you are going to get killed. The Bible says that one who considers the, the way of this or that will never solve. The Bible said that the sluggish man, he said that there is a lion in the street, I will be slain. Biblia inasema uko na simba kule katika nchi lakini nitasonga mbele. To be a person of faith doesn't mean that you don't hear fear talking to you. Kwa mtu wa imani haimanishi usikii uoga ukikunenea. You learn to ignore fear and keep going forward. Unajifunza kukataa kusikia hiyo uoga na unaendelea kusonga mbele. You can make a step. Unaendelea kusonga hatua. That's why even in your prayers, Before katika maombi yako, whenever you want to shake off and believe, katika imani, you start to feel being down by depression and all the problems. Unapoona unashushwa na shida na ile kutokuwa na hali nzuri katika maombi. Sometimes you have to stand up and say no, no, no and you start to move forward. Ina wakati mwingine inamaanisha usimame na useme hapana na hapana na itaji kusonga mbele. The Bible said that stir yourself up and get a hold of God. Biblia inasema nyanyuka na umshikilie Mungu wako. That's how the Bible says that the kingdom of God is preached and the violent take it by force. Na Biblia inasema ufalme wa Mungu unatwepo kwa wale wenye nguvu. Faith is crazy. Imani ni ya kutatanisha kuchachawiza. The way faith thinks is crazy. Jinsi imani inafikiria katika kuchachawiza to most people kwa watu wengi but to you who is in faith lakini kwa wewe uliye na imani you seem to have a different mind of your own unakaa kuwa na wazo tofauti katika look, hali yako look at the people who came to Jesus with a lame man on the bed angalia wale watu waliokuja na kwa Yesu na mtu amenenda katika kitanda and they found a challenge 
The place was packed. And no one was ready to let them go inside. Faith does not see challenges. It is opportunities. And faith, like I said, is crazy. It's those same people of faith who made Jesus homeless. They came to his house and they went up to the roof and they started to break it. You're not ready to move in faith. That's let the people of faith move forward. Imagine I'm preaching a lot of times you start to hear boom 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 from the top. <laughs> And people are saying, what's going on? <laughs> Jesus is well in God, I say that. Ah, my people are coming. Mm. One, one iron sheet is off. But he was not just some good, some healthy person who is opening and then they're going to jump. How, how do you first get Get a, a, a sick person in a bed up to the roof. <coughs> and when you're on the roof, how do you keep how do you keep him while you're also opening the iron? <coughs> and then you open the roof and people are watching you and you don't care. <laughs> okay, but now you have been able to get the sick person on top of the roof. How do you lower someone on a seat or on a bed down the roof? But do you think those people when they came they were thinking, yeah, we are going and there are challenges, people will be packed, we will not be able to get there, so they already have everything planned out. Am I speaking too fast? <laughs> I said, do you think those people who are carrying the sick person had a plan how they are going to come inside to reach Jesus. They had already planned it for two weeks. We are going to set up a ladder by the, the, the place. We are going to bring you up the ladder. And we, when we get to there, we already have our hammers and everything to... Do you think an angel spoke to them the night before and said, this is the plan how to get to Jesus? No, they improvised in the moment. <laughs> but they were determined nothing is going to keep us from I, I, I love the Bible. I love the scripture. They give us examples that are the worst. People who went through the worst. So that when you go through something, you can go back and get comfort from the scripture. Is that what the Bible says? Comfort from the scriptures. Yes. Strength from the scriptures. Mm -hmm. When you say that it's been now about five years and there's no child, go back and read from Sarah. Mm -hmm. People seem to think that Sarah waited only for 25 years. What you want to Sarah? Is that true? Yes. No. 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 Abana. Did Abraham and Sarah get married when he was at the Abraham and Sarah were living at the age of seventy-nine. Did people get married then in that age? No. What were you like? Were you going to have a baby? He was called to go when he was seventy-five. Ali, you were going to have a baby at seventy-nine. But how long do you think they had been married? 
Lakini unajua walikuwa wameoana kweli kwa miaka ngapi? If you study history people used to get married when they were 12, 13, 15. Ukisoma historia watu wa kichangu walikuwa wanaoleka wanaoa kwa miaka 13, 14, 15. Let's say Abraham and Sarah got married late and they were 20. Tuseme pengine walioleka kwa kuoana kwa kuchelewa. Tuseme ishi miaka 20. Lakini wakaketi katika imani kwa miaka 80. Nane sufuri. And the Bible tells us that he did not grow weak in unbelief but he grew strong in faith. Na Biblia inasema hawakushushwa katika imani bali walitiwa nguvu katika imani. That is your father. Huyo ni baba yako Abraham. The Bible says in Isaiah it said look to Abraham your father. Biblia inasema katika Isaiah mtizame baba yako Abraham na mkewe Sarai. That's what I said that I love the scripture. Biblia inasema ninapenda neno. When you feel discouraged you can just open anywhere and start to read. Unapohisi kushushwa unafungua tunakuisoma. <laughs> by the time you come out you say you mountain of sickness the option of going there is done Chaguo ya kurudi kule nyuma imekwisha. I'm not sure that expression is used here in Kenya but in America they call it to burn bridges. Sina uhakika lakini kule Amerikani nasema kuzuia daraja. Imagine if there was a bridge between Busia and Nambale. Hebu angalia kama kumekuwa na mto katikati ya Busia na Nambale. And cross the bridge to come to Nambale. Na unapita huo mto kuja Nambale. Then after you cross the bridge you, you look back to the bridge and you release fire on the bridge. Na baada ya kufuka mto huo unachilia moto katika huo mto. Now you just destroy the only way that goes back to Busia. Na sasa unaangamiza tu hiyo njia moja ambayo itakurudisha kule Busia. You are saying I have come to take over Nambale. Unasema nimekuja kuteka Nambale. No matter what challenges I don't have an option to go back to Busia. Haijalishi changamoto gani sina chaguo la kurudi kule Busia. Faith you must already decide before anything happens. Imani ni lazima uchague kando na kila kitu chochote. This life with God. Hii maisha ambayo tuko nayo. I am going forward. Ninaenda mbele. I meet a lion I will deal with the lion. Nikikutana na simba nitashughulika nayo. If a challenge I will deal with it. Changamoto tutakayokuja nitashughulika nayo. And if somebody comes and says who do you think you are? Na mtu akikuja kuambia wewe ni nani kweli? I am a child of God. Mwambie mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I am born of God. Nimezaliwa kwa Mungu. No, let me tell you. God is my father. Acha nikwambie Mungu ni baba yangu. Does God has fear? Mungu ana uoga. Hapana. Last time I was here I said that Your father is a consuming fire. Ya kwamba Mungu wako ni moto ulao. And I asked you a question then who are you? Na nikaongeza wakati nilipokuwa hapa wewe ni nani? Moto ulao. And I don't know if I asked you I said have you ever seen fear in fire? No. Na nikakuuliza ushaiona uoga katika moto ulao. If you said if you said this bush of fire is fire going to come this way or move forward? Ukiwasha moto katika huu msitu utaenda mbele au utarudi nyuma? Anything that God created if you ever see it. Chochote ambacho Mungu alikiumba kama umekiona. Ishi maisha yako kwa imani. I must live a life of faith. Wanyama wanaishi katika maisha ya imani. Jesus challenged people he said that why do you worry about what shall I eat or what shall I drink? Yesu akawapa changamoto kwa nini muangaike na kila ambacho tutakachokula na kuvaa? Can you not consider the sparrow? 